Greetings everybody, this is Leviathan here, and today I'm bringing you another Conquest video. This time it's for boss mode slash worlds apart. And in this Conquest, in at least Torment 10 difficulty, you need to kill all the bosses, sort of, in under 20 minutes. So the way that it works is your timer starts as soon as you load into the game. So you'll be on the menu screen selecting your character, then you hit that start game button, and as soon as you load in, bang, 20 minutes. So within that first 20 minutes of a new fresh game, you need to go and kill all the bosses. Now the reason that I say sort of is because they did add a boss in Act 2, Vidian, who you don't have to kill. It doesn't count for the conquest. So the way to know sort of which bosses do count is you'll see these little skull icons and that will let you know for that zone there's a boss there and you have to go and kill that, that boss. So Zoltan Kul, Belial, Magda, for example, in Act 2. Um, so that's sort of the what to do but the how to do it is where the fun starts so you know what i recommend is that you have a build that's both very speedy and has great single target damage because you need to get through some of the zones very quickly there are two different types of boss zones or however you want to think about it where they're either at a fixed position like the skeleton king zoltan cool they're always in very specific spots but for like the butcher or adria um, those zones preceding those bosses can be random so there you can get very mazy it can take you some time if you go on a dead end and such so that's why it's really good to have a build that moves quickly so in case you do find a dead end or whatever you can weave your way out of it um, and I recommend starting with some of those harder zones so the way I organize my runs is I'll start in act five and I'll make sure to do Adria and Urzil first because they are the ones that are on more of those random maps that lead up to the boss so if I do have a run where it just seems like everything's going wrong, I'm going the wrong way all the time, then I can just reset and not have spent too much time on that run and just get a better, you know, RNG start, basically. But for instance, in Act 5, Malthael, there's he's on a fixed position. You always know exactly where to go to get to Malthael. So I wouldn't start with him, for instance. Now, some other tips and tricks to this. You can do this both solo and in a group. Uh, it's not too bad in solo. It's very quick, especially if your build is good. Um, for today's example, I'll be using the Shadow Impale Demon Hunter. It's a good choice because it has high movement speed, since you have like 100% uptime on Shadow Power, and then also just the ability to vault without using um, resources, so you can just zoom through maps. Um, but if you're in a group, there's some tips for this. So one of the things I'll display today, so I was mentioning fixed position bosses, Skeleton King is one of those. So I'll show you here, if we go through... We find our Skeleton King, so we go through this map. And now we've got to our boss door here, right? So say that, for instance, we were doing this in a four-player party, everybody would have gone to a different zone and done the same thing. They would have gotten to the door of the boss and then set a town portal. Well, everybody except for one person. So once everyone else in the group has set their town portal, then one person will be like, okay, everyone good, great. I'm going to click the boss door. They click it. Then obviously that text pops up that says accept the boss. Everyone accept, and that's another part to know about this conquest, is everyone needs to be present for each boss kill in order for it to count towards the conquest. So you need to witness and be a part of each boss kill in order to get the final credit when you kill the last boss in the conquest. So make sure you do not skip any bosses. You need to be there for all of them. Now the key to this trick, right? So I like I said, there's going to be three people that teleported back to town. And so they set this teleport right at the boss door. And then you're going to accept and say we accept. And it brings us to the Cavern of Arianite, like right to the Queen Arianite fight. So, so this is her arena. There's no waypoint there. Just imagine that. We fight her, we fight her, we fight her. She's dead. And now we need to get back to town, right? So we can do the next boss door by someone going to their town portal. Well, if you were to town portal, you're going to overwrite your portal. So the trick here is to open up your map and click on New Tristram. This is actually a different town portal. So it'll bring you back to town, but it doesn't overwrite the previous town portal. Hopefully that is clear, but that's the way to kind of um, game this a little bit. So you can actually be in multiple places at once in a way. Um, it allows you to just very quickly move through the game when you're trying to get these bosses. So with a group, you have that advantage of essentially finding a bunch of doors at the same time and not losing that progress, even though you have to go and appear at each boss fight. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. 
and then in the video description i'll do a you know too long didn't watch or can't understand or whatever just a little summary of all the tips that we just laid out for you and how to exactly get the conquest done and i'll also put a um old run of when we did the conquest kind of early in the season so you can see exactly what it looks like because you know there's um the beginning of the season is very different from for instance this crazy geared out you know um, non-seasonal demon hunter so you can kind of see the travails of doing it right from the beginning of a season we'll have a link uh, for that in the video description but now what i'm going to do is actually do a live run for you guys to show you exactly what it would look like especially if you're going to do it solo so we start our game you can see it was on t10 i'll go ahead and start my timer and so like i said i start in act five and i'll start with adria and one thing that can be nice is that sometimes the boss is the uh the bounty for the zone that you're in so you'll get an arrow that guides you nice and easily towards where the boss is and you see in this case we don't have that luxury so we're going to try and hopefully guess our way correctly to her you can get kind of stuck here there's so many doors there's just so much slowness in this adria one it is a brutal but it's okay Looks like we might be doing a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop here, so we're not picking the fastest way. But um, what will be il illustrated from this is that the 20 minutes is very generous. Like, it will not take you the full 20 minutes. Because our build is quick, we'll kill the bosses quickly. There's a lot of time in 20 minutes, so don't panic too much if you find that your Act 4 is really slow, or, or sorry, your Act 5 is really slow, or feels like you're behind time. All right, look at that. I already found a dead end. Like, this Adria is not going super great here we go if you know your tile sets and you know your maps well it can also be a great help because then you'll know like oh that's usually a dead end oh i should go left i should go right so that's her dead and then we'll do urzale next another one that's a random map leading up to him and sadly he is not the bounty here because that would have been helpful too try to take it easy on you guys with my keyboard as well i'll try to uh, not click or not a tap a tap of the keys as much. But it'll be a little less efficient for me. That's okay. Alright, here we go. That one actually wasn't too bad. We found them relatively quickly. This is a two-phase fight, so make sure that you understand that you have to uh, do enough damage to him to phase him. And then you should stop attacking, because if your build has any stuns or anything like that, you can like prevent him from phasing. And then, so I just do that. I let him phase. There we go, and then we get into the second phase, and that's when you can just fully kill him. And now he's dead. And some of the bosses, it'll take you, like, some uh, multiple attempts to get out of the room because you have to wait for their death animations. A little tip for that is you can just keep the map open, and when you see the little green check mark go over the boss icon, the little skull thing, then that means you're good to leave that map, and then you can just click on the next um, location you want to go to. So now we're going to Malthail, and like I mentioned, he's always on a fixed position. So as soon as, it's going to be these portals that lead you to Mouth Hill. So as soon as you take the waypoint in, just look for the portals and then start going through all these to get to him. Now Mouth Hill can be a little scary when it comes to hardcore in particular, and it's early in the season. Because you're probably going to do this if you're trying to go for like a rank 1 or something, like right as you're feeling capable for it. But for whatever reason, man, Mouth Hill just always feels like you're potentially close to dying. So, you know, take caution with him. He's a big cheater. He'll drop those clouds on you before you can even load in and stuff. It's just ridiculous. But just kill him. This is a two-phase fight. Um, there is one phase in the beginning where you can only like bring him to like a quarter health or a quarter loss of health. And then the other part of it. And then um, move on to the second phase and then you're good to go. So he's going to do his dramatic death. He's dead. Next we'll go to Rakanoth. And we're in our Act 4 bosses now. So there's three in Act 5. Rakanoth in Act 4 is the fixed position boss, so we know exactly where to go. We waypoint in and we just go to the left here. And it's always this way. So this will make your life easy on this one. Get right in there. And then uh, Izual and Diablo are the uh, two random ones, so they'll take a little longer. We'll do Izual next. Time is looking good. I actually did this already and I uh, didn't hit the record button. <laughs> so I just had a practice run. So this run will probably go a lot better. That other run was a little on the sloppier side. So I was remembering how to do this again. But you know, practice makes perfect. 
Oh, that's a dead end. I say that now and watch me find all these dead ends and stuff too. Here we go. Okay. So again, like map knowledge can be huge. Like if you've played so many of these maps so many times, you should know like a lot of like, oh, there's a dead end there. Oh, this is the way to go. Oh, this is not quite where I want to be going. You can get a good sense for if you're on the right track or not. Sometimes you just get unlucky though. Oh, this one, look at that. We actually have the arrow this time because Diablo is the bounty. So that's very helpful. The arrow can be misleading though. Because sometimes it'll be like, oh, I just need to go to the left. And then it's actually like you kind of have to go the long way around to get to that left. So Diablo is another multi-phase boss. You need to make sure that you uh, hopefully can one-shot so that you go through the phases nice and quickly. Especially in this next phase because he teleports in and you don't want him to uh, disappear on you. So you want to kill him quickly so you can just get right out of that phase. And then kill him here. He's very dramatic here. You actually need to keep doing damage to him so that you can uh, get him. There's like a multi-phase to his death, kind of. So I would just keep damaging him. And then eventually he'll start to finish the phase. Grab some coffee. Represent some Dunkin' Donuts here. Boston's finest. So that's Act 4. That's all done. Next we'll do Act 3, which has four bosses. So keep that in mind. You have to do Sedea, Gom, um... Siege Breaker and who am I forgetting? Uh, Asmodan. So Sedea is on a fixed path, but you have these two zones leading up to her, and so she can just take a little bit of time to get to, but she's not too bad. This zone can have two different versions of this map. Actually, I think the other zone can have two different versions as well, too. But neither, none of them are that long. They're basically just, you know, circles. You just kind of run the circle. And then you're good to go. Alright. Easy enough. Pop in here. And slap her in the face. Okay, she's gone. So let's do Asmodan as soon as they let us. There we go. Oh, and another thing to mention, too, is, like, you can see stuff is dropping, right? Obviously, for this, I don't really care about the gear because I'm just trying to show you the conquest. But even when you're doing the conquest and say you think you're going to be tight on time, you can always just leave your drops behind. Just leave the death's breaths, leave the drops. And then when the conquest is over, when you've got the credit for it, it pops up. You can uh, try to keep a mental memory of which boss dropped something that you're interested in and go back and grab it or like you'll have time too, honestly where you can just quickly grab something if there's a piece that's really interesting to you or that you think you don't want to regret forgetting you can try to grab that but the worst case scenario would be that you know you miss the conquest by like a second because you decided to grab some stuff so definitely you want to kind of prioritize just moving through not picking anything up It'll just be, you know, you do it for this one time and then the next time you can, the next, when you go back to farming and grab everything, you know. But if you want to um, min-max the conquest, then you just want to make sure you're being, um, only caring about the objective, basically. Only going and just moving to kill the bosses, that's it. So this is for the Siege Breaker, you can tell it's a very fixed position, but it's a very long run-up to get to him. So, he takes some time to get to but otherwise boom he comes through there you kill him easy and then gom is one of these random ones so there are like usually three spots you can check um this is not going to be it i think it's going to be down this way you can kind of tell it's usually going to be whichever way has a longer run up then it'll lead to gom so we guessed right so that's good our instincts are kicking in from doing this a million times so this is the gom position and then we come here, he's done. And so you can see there's no check mark here, right? So I actually wouldn't be able to leave. And then as soon as the check mark would pop up, he'd be able to leave. And of course I said we don't need to do Vidian, but I clicked on him. Usually when I'm trying to choose which boss I'll go to next, I'm just literally looking for which zone has a skull. And I just go there. But <laughs> my my um, muscle memory was just like, oh yeah, go to Vidian. But he's not included in this, as I mentioned previously. So we don't do that. But now we're going to Magda. And she is included. And the nice part about Act 2 is it can be a place where you make up a ton of time. Because all of these bosses are in fixed positions. So the Magda lead up, fixed position. Belial, same thing. Go through the city. And then um, the Zoltan Cool is like the easiest one of all of them. Literally right next to the waypoint. 
makes your life super simple. And it's so funny. Uh, the clear that I did that I didn't record was like 15 minutes. And it looks like this one is going to be much faster than that. Sub 15. That just shows practice does make perfect. So if you are trying to do this conquest in an upcoming season, then make sure you get a little bit of practice in if you really care about getting it done, getting a good time. This one, you got a little boss or your little ads uh, section before the boss. Then he comes down with this phase, phase him up. Then make for his transformation. Great time to get some coffee. And then we get to slap him in the face. He's done. As you can see here, like I can't teleport out because we don't get the check mark on his face yet. And as soon as it pops up, boom, I can go to Zoltan Cool. So it just makes that click a lot faster. And then Zoltan Cool, like I mentioned, one, two, three, four, four steps. And we're there. And you don't have to worry about his constructs, you just need to kill Zoltan Cool himself. Bang, he's dead. And then on to Act 1. So let's do Butcher. So in Act 1, three bosses Butcher, Queen Aria, and I, both random locations or random lead ups to them. So ideally, maybe one of these would be a bounty, which would help guide you, but in this case, not the case. So let's see if we can get some intuition. Nope! <laughs> Bad intuition. We found the beginning of the zone. Alright, so now that we know where that is, let's try going this way. And we'll go down and around. Mm -hmm. I think we're onto the right track now. Down this way. Yeah, and then up this way, and this should be it. There we go. Okay. And that's the butcher. His zone can definitely get you backtracked, but that proves why you like to have a nice speedy build, because it'll uh, make things a lot easier for you. Then on to Queen Irinai. So this map actually has some interesting tricks to it, and I will explain exactly how it works, because we'll have plenty of time based on our lovely timer at the moment all right nice we got lucky okay so what I want to show you is look at this map right so when you come into the waypoint and you come into this room it's either gonna to be to the left or the right for the right way to go and you'll know it's the right way when you kind of see the bridge um, extending and then it brings you into this section and this section you can think of it as four quadrants there's this upper left one upper right uh, bottom right and bottom left and basically you want to check the top and the bottom of each of these quadrants because it's going to house the right way to go. You can see here that we found the right way. When you start to see these pillars like on the side here, then that lets you know that you're onto the right track. And then you just want to keep going. You get to this final room and then her uh, bridge is always going to be to the right here and you move this way. And then that's when you get to the queen. So hopefully that helps. That zone can be confusing for some newer players, but there's definitely that little uh, tip slash trick to help you get through it a little faster and that's definitely something too if you're watching and you're in the comments and you have like tips and tricks on how to do this faster or like uh, little things that you've picked up over time from trying this conquest definitely feel free to leave those in the comments and that way you can help out your fellow players in the future as they try to figure out you know how to best get the conquest done hopefully they should have everything they need in this guide but you know the community as a collective is always really smart and figures tons of stuff out so everybody can help everybody out and then this should be our last boss skeleton king got away from him to wake up he hasn't had his coffee we did though and then we shoot him come on and then he's dead and that should be it so normally if this was the conquest he'd be like oh my gosh you did the conquest it would pop up and be crazy um i could stop my timer so it was like 13 minutes on this run not too bad but we'll go ahead and do the check for you so you can see Act 1, all bosses dead. Act 2, all bosses except for Vidian dead, he doesn't count. Act 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, all 4. Act 4, 1, 2, 3. And then Act 5, 1, 2, and 3. So that would be the whole conquest. Pretty simple, right? Nothing too crazy to it. So I hope that'll help you out. If you have any questions, need extra additional help, things like that, feel free to pop into the comments. I'll be watching those and I'll answer any questions you got to give you further guidance. But again, this is another conquest guide. Pretty simple one. Again, go fast, shoot hard, <laughs> kill the bosses, get it done. Shouldn't be too bad at all. But yeah, so uh, I will probably have some more conquest videos as well. So feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to find more of those. Uh, pop into the comments, let me know if there's any other conquests you want me to tackle. And otherwise, I want to thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. 
Adios for now.